Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more of Divinity Original Sin, and joining me, the Bit Defender himself, is... <laughs> Gaming Psychologist. And what are we doing here? <laughs> well... For, for, uh, in between, we have two episodes recorded, and then we had... I guess we're up to about two months break now, because we had sickness on both of us. We had... and uh, just random shit go down <laughs> yeah this is our second attempt to try recording this bit because last time when we tried to record it something like a month ago we were having recording issues because something was messed up with uh discord discord which is yeah. what we use for our audio or to you know chat with one another and we almost had to call it quits tonight because bit defender updated today and it was throwing up some kind of incompatibility error with XSplit, which is what I used to record. And I spent like an hour fixing it. And fingers crossed, it stays fixed. I did a couple of test recordings before we started, and it was working fine. So, here's to hoping it works fine. Well, at least we have a save if things go uh, terribly. Um, you know, we could always revert again. Indeed. At least we know what to expect up here. To be fair, I kind of called this originally. It's like, this looks like a boss arena. <laughs> yep, and it is. It is indeed. So, um, so shall I take Bator up? Yeah. And hang on, let me reset my thing so my main character is kind of lagging behind Bador. What? And we fight. Yep. All right. So. Yeah, we see. figured out uh, also in our last recording that each of these are focused on a different element. So they'd be strong against their own, but weak against the opposite. See, this one is weak to fire. Oh, uh, you're going to have to give me a direction on that. They're all called Eternal Guardian. It's the one uh, south. The one most south is weak to fire. Uh, what element is he? Uh, what what uh, what uh, is his sword? Is it frosty? Is it sparky? Is it flamey or is it earthy? Uh, his sword is flamey. Okay, so he's weak to fire. It says minus fifty percent to fire. All right, so uh, they're weak to their own element. Minus fifty percent to fire and minus fifty percent to crushing. And then he's got 100% resistance to poison, 150 resistance to earth, and then 50 to both water and air. All right. So, uh, flamey is weak to flame, I guess. Uh, Drosty is uh, weak to cold. Yeah, weak Sparky to... is weak to uh, air. And then Rocky over here is weak to earth. Good to know. Yep. Okay. So that means pr probably I want to say uh, the, well, I don't want to send out the spider. I want to send out the wolf because the wolf is more useful. Yep. But I'm assuming you're going to go after the fire guy. I'll probably send Medora after the frost guy to cut him off of the pass. Granted, we're going to have one uh, loose. You're I would suggest uh, sending uh, your uh, uh, summon off of a bear to either Sparky or Rocky. Yeah, I'm going to use both my summons to see if extra targets. So I am going to stake my fire flame ele elemental against Flamey, because obviously... That makes the most sense. Flame yo, Hotman. <laughs> Don't have enough AP for another attack. Unless I want to kamikaze myself. I could do that. Uh, I'll haste Medora, though. Ooh, I like this. I like this plan. I'm glad to be part of it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's my spidey seed? It's in here somewhere. I'm surprised you didn't get the wolf yet. Uh, she doesn't have a high enough Geomancer for the wolf. Uh, I haven't really focused on that. I just got the yeah, level I, I one forgot, so I can I have forgot it was Geomancer. I, I, All right, I who should I stick the spider on? 
Uh, I would say probably the Earth God because when he be weak to poison, I would go double check that yeah, first. Let me... oh, I don't because remember the spider will, uh, poisons. Uh, no, he has 100% resistance to poison. Okay. Uh, all right. Maybe all of these are 100% uh, resistance to poison because they're stone. But yeah. yeah, it was good to check it. It looks like they are. I'm checking all of them. Yeah, they're all 100% resistant to poison. Um, we don't have anybody to really deal with water. I've got a couple yeah. of water-based spells, but they're not very yeah, powerful. Maybe not, yeah, maybe we want to uh, focus on the water god then because he'll be... Uh, the most uh, he's most likely to have uh, some sort of uh, heal frozen that works I was just going for the damage boost so let's see yeah this one is heavy against earth Okay, I was just want to make sure. So, since you froze that one, Medora will go after the Earth guy. Oh my! <laughs> touch. Got the touch. Touch. Sorry. And again. I love the wolf. They've got a lot of health. I didn't think to check how much health they had. Like I was just looking at the resistances, but it's a lot. Mhm. Mm to be fair, we are going to be tying them up for quite a while. I imagine it's going to be immune to knockdown, but the entire point is to, uh, uh, Close movement. Close the gap. Yeah. Ram speed. Oh, no. Okay. Awesome. Well, in that uh, case... Head cannon, they're immune to knockdown, but Medora is so badass, she just knocks them down anyways. Melee power stance. Kick his ass. Yeah, that works. <laughs> you should have known exactly what I was about to do when I went to power stance. <laughs> well, that's going to make things a lot easier. <laughs> oh, son of a son bitch. Of a bitch. Okay, maybe we don't want to get in melee range. That said, what, 3,600 <laughs> damage? Yes. Damn, son. Glad I froze that other one. Yeah. I doubt this is going to do much, but... Yeah, bleeding failed, but... Maybe I should be... Uh, yeah, once Medora kills the other one. <laughs> it's a good thing we only have one melee then. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know what the best move is. I'm tempted to use another. Or to, actually, I don't know if I have any. Just a summon scroll and just put another uh, thing between me and that guy. Uh, maybe. I maybe. Uh, it does look like it moves slowly, though. I mean, if that was a normal attack. Yeah, I'll give it a, a turn. I guess if he comes over here and just murders me. Worst case, we just reload the save and learn from our mistake. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of AP. It's on fire. Yeah, the other one should die either this turn or next. It has one turn of knockdown, which it's going to spend most of its AP getting up. Oh, 
I'll probably do one attack of normal or with her power stance and go melee defensive stance. Okay, Spidey's turn. Well, if there was ever a chance to just want to keep using special arrows. Now's the time. Now's the time. <laughs> Do I have any water arrows? I've forgotten a lot of the stuff that I had. <laughs> we have the things. I got a couple of water arrows. Did she just throw those on the ground? Yes, she did. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, you don't have water arrows recording. after the fight. Wouldn't be a divinity court recording without me making an error of some sort. Mm hmm. I was thinking, drag to the taskbar. No. Throw on the ground. Okay, well. What to do here, because... I can do barrage. My summon's still gonna be alive for another turn. So... Actually, even a little helps. Yeah, nice. That'll help you out a bit. I only have a fifty-nine percent chance to hit, so I'm not exactly keen on any of those. Well, wait, I'm not in precision stance. Stop moving the camera around, damn it. Oh, he got up. Okay, well. I can smell your fear. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Now the question is, what else to do with Medora? Uh, I assume I'm she doesn't have enough AP to do much else this turn, other than move somewhere. Move somewhere or get into her uh, her goodie bag. Yeah, I guess you could chuck a bomb or something. Maybe best just to save some AP. Yeah. React to what happens next. Yeah. At least we have one down already. Yeah. Next turn, I think I'll be able to kill Fire One. Especially if I focus on it with Bayer Two. Number two down. Hang on. Let me check something. How about I make a very tempting target for you? Okay. <laughs> that works. Oh, that, that really pays off, huh? Yeah. And another miss. Yeah, probably want to fall back after that. If you can't kill him this turn. Is he close enough? He is. Oh, he's dead. Meet your demise. That's a hell of a lot of experience. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm thinking you're going to explode the oil barrel with bear. Yeah, I'll have to. Assuming you don't throw your fire arrows on the ground. <laughs> Would be a problem. That worked out a lot better than I expected. Seven, fortify my focus. Yeah, I got the arrow back. Granted, a little bit of a pain now because of the cloud, but that works. But this is why Medora's been holding on to barrels, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten that you were picking up barrels of things. Hey, if Medora has the strength, may as well use it, right? Yep, that is fair play. So he won't suffer as much burning damage because he's not weak to fire, but still. Mm -hmm. Alright, that guy's thawed now. Well, I suspect he'll kill my Spidey. But that's okay. Yeah, I only had enough AP for one, but it was a good shot. So, that's done. Oh, what can Medora do? I wonder if Medora could tank one of those hits. Well, what I was thinking was, if it got up and I was going to uh, have to take a hit, I would uh, put on Shackles of Pain so it hit itself. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been good. So I had a backup plan for Medora. If DB, we could have used it, but I think we're okay. Yeah, no, I think we got this. Both of them are hurt a decent amount. I think that the Frosty... Over there, I'll get killed this turn. Or this this coming turn. Yeah, well, let's put in some uh, backup. My turn through the gauntlet with pleasure. Oh, Dick got up and went, huh? Yeah. Do some damage too. About 200. Ooh, he's diseased. Well. <laughs> then he died. <laughs> uh, Nick served us well. <laughs> it's just a pile of ooze on the ground. <laughs> well, it's something for you to set on fire, I guess. That was all of my AP. Get him, Splayer. Yeah. Ooh. What? A earth wand of uh, oh. divine quality. Nice. Unidentified splendid draconian earth wand. And, and unidentified uh, thin earth staff. That's legendary. I guess I'm calling the leather helmet then. Armor can protect you. Oh, that didn't do much. <laughs> uh, what did you cast on me? Farseer. Okay. And he, I stunned him. He 
need you. I hope I have enough arrows for this. Yay. Oh, that was fun. We did it. Yeah, the other one didn't drop anything that I could see, but also the, all the smoke. Uh, don't grab all the uh, or the unidentified stuff. I'll go ahead and grab it myself so I can no. identify. I picked up a wand and my water arrows that I threw down. All right. But it was uh, just, just send a me the unidentified. Wand. Oh, I uh, thought you had grabbed something that was unidentified. Unidentified superior gamps. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'll let you pick those up. So it's it some it's sort of star. Yeah, so likely Medora. Yeah, I'm waiting for uh, rain, please. Oh, right. Right. And then I'll loot the Skellington over there. That actually uh, worked out pretty damn well. Yeah, that went really well. Granted, I think Medora won that for us because she knocked one out immediately. <laughs> but then again, Medora is awesome. I didn't. I don't see anything from this other one. I wonder if uh, because it was on fire, it didn't drop anything. Yeah, maybe. Something called Mercy Giver on the ground. Want to handle uh, that's just a dagger. I'll pick it up for vendor trash. Yeah. A shitload of pouches. Yes, you do. They're all empty. I must have crafted them. For some reason. Okay, well, I need to put on my identification stuff, so don't wander around too much. That's fine. I'll stand right here. Okay. That pouch has a wand in it. Okay. And this is a pouch full of pouches. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Uh, the Furious Splendid Draconian Earth Staff or Earth Wand of Terror. 6,100 earth damage, critical 200%, two constitution, two perception, one leadership, 20% chance to set feared status for two turns, allows you to cast tectonic spray uh, for three uses. That is pretty swell. I'll take that, see how it compares uh, to my other ones. Yeah, I figured it was yours anyway. Uh, the earth staff, paralyzing thin earth staff of loyalty. 63, 126 earth damage, 7 critical chance with 200 damage, 1 willpower, 1 leadership, 200, or sorry, 20% chance to set crippled status for 3 turns. It looks like this other stuff is uh, ranger stuff. Oh, I may have to use this. <laughs> Just from the uh, bonus on it, but uh, let's see. Uh, blessed new leather helmet of arch. Of archers, yeah. 47 armor rating, 83 HP, unlock skill Farseer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it gives me more HP, but it, I lose three initiative on it. So it may not be worthwhile. And let's see the other soothing. Uh, take a look at. Bears a helmet, by the way, and see if it's worthwhile for you. I mean, granted, the Farseer is worthless, but... One second. Because both of these are leather armor. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought I heard uh, Game Train. Oh, well, I, I guess uh, we'll see. Uh, but 47 armor rating, 83 HP, pretty much. I mean, I'm imagining that's vendor trash, unless you yeah. have a really crap helmet. No, I mean, it's better armor rating, but the stats on my helmet for bear are much better. They're stat boosts. Yeah, and here's the other one. Soothing Superior Gibson of Air Resistance. It's is... leather armor. Okay. 66 armor rating, 20 air resistance, 1 initiative, plus 1.1 1 .1 movement. And immunity to burning. That's tempting for the plus to movement, because bear's movement is extremely low. Yeah, see, uh, I, it was tempting for me for the uh, immunity to burning, because 
I would lose 10 armor rating, but that's not a lot for rangers. Yeah, I would uh, also lose some I would, armor. I would break even on initiative. I would swap out pretty much air resistance for fire resistance, but then the beauty did a burning. I'll I'll take it if you don't want it, actually, because the right. movement boost would be helpful. All right, I'll toss it to you. I'll hold on to the helmet and the staff for Bender Trash, unless you wanted the staff. No, I don't want the staff. Oh, that was fun. Oh, there is another thing over here. A mace. I guess it was covered from all the smoke. That gleam? And excellent metal boots. So I'll take that for a vendor. But I imagine we're not going to use this, but I'll probably hand it off to Medora just for, you know, in case she loses her weapon again. Uh, Paralyzing nice flanged, uh, flanged metal or nice flanged mace of storms. 86 128 crushing with 21 20 uh, 21 32 air damage 75 hp 25 percent chance to set stun status for one turn 20 percent chance to set crippled status for three turns that's going to go to Medora for backup weapon unless you really wanted it no so i need to send some vendor trash to actually i have 22 and a half pounds of pouches. I'm gonna send those to Bear. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, keep an eye out for barrels for Medora, though. She needs to add to her collection again. So, our, we get to move on. Oh, hang on, before we do that, I should swap my Lore Master stuff back. Which I always forget which pouch it's in, and it's always in the last one. I was going to send that for you too. Okay, can, when, oh, I can heal myself. The fun way. It's just a time, hey, my friends? All right, I've got all that stuff put in my alternate gear bag. Uh, grenades. And arrows. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm good on arrows. I, Actually, only used a couple. Not well, used one knockdown arrow. Just trying to stop that guy in case things didn't turn out all that well. I uh, okay. still have non knockdown arrows, so I'm good there. Okay. Send this one to you. Slow down. That, that was a lot scarier than it really looked. Uh, uh, really it, was though. Yeah. Right. Not, thankfully, you lucked out. Okay, and I'm going to send these grenades to Bear. Or not Bear. To Medora. Because Medora's Poor got the Nick. best arm. Medora has the best everything. What are you talking about? She doesn't have the best magics. Yes, she does. It's called being the ever living shit out of you, lighting herself on fire. To be fair, that's usually you doing it to her. No, she sets herself on fire every time she tries to use Firefly. Yeah, but she likes it hot. That goes to the edge. That's all okay, vendor trash. Well, all sort of go ahead and uh, do a quick save before we head up here, because I see a lot of treasure chests. Um, It, it feels like a trap to me. Sure. Shall we head up? Yep, I'm right behind you. I'll, I'll lead with Medora just in case. It's heating up. Toasty. 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 Well, I was right about it being a trap. Uh. Why do you say that? Because Medora's dead. Huh? Oh, she is dead. What happened? She, uh, something zapped her. It's so killing hot under the collar. Okay, let's get a revival scroll. Oh uh, no, no! Before we do I'm that, I'm, here. Uh, I'm okay. gonna just see. That's what happened. Okay. Do you want to reload instead of using two? Yeah, yeah reload. Let's. Is it F8 that's the quick save on this? Yeah. But see why I wanted to just do the reload. 
Yeah, let's check the side paths first because it looks like yeah on each side you can go up a separate set of stairs. Or this may be a reason to use the pyramids for once. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I see it. I see the uh, pyramids on the stair? There's two where I went. So try going up to the other stairs. Uh, never, never mind. There's... Nope. I got zapped. Your party has been defeated. Uh, can you reload? Yeah. Okay. Because it was telling me to go main menu. Oh, well, this is interesting, huh? Yeah. Um... Turns out... Wait, where are we? Uh, okay. Let's look around down here, see if there's a, a button or anything. Yeah, this feels like a puzzle now. Hmm. I'm not Zooming seeing the camera anything. Around. Looking for stuff. I was just walking the perimeter to see if perception uh, pays off. Because I have no idea what was killing us outside of. Well, could you do a health resync? Uh, yeah. But yeah, you know, it's just zap and yo, know, you're dead. Bathed in rivers of renewal. Thank you. Well, we didn't go up this side. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's see what happens if we go up this side. I could do with a cold drink. Yeah, I'm just watching. Whoa! Uh, bear got. Oh, I got zapped. Okay. Hmm. Reload. Yeah. Do we have any gear that makes us immune to... Uh, I'm guessing that's a... Aerothage? Whatever the lightning I don't have is. enough, but... Well, I was going to do... Uh, toss me your pyramid. Okay. I was going to see if I can get a... To you or Medora? Medora. Okay. Medora has the uh, arm... I was just going to see, you know, if I could get a. Okay, it's still giving me path blocked even from here. Yeah, it's giving me path blocked. It does feel like they've forgotten about the uh, teleport pyramids, doesn't it? As a way to use them to mm -hmm. circumvent puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have a path. Uh, now the question is where to throw it. Because it looks like there's a giant locked door up there. And I doubt I'll be able to throw it up the stairs. No, I can. Okay. I'm going to throw as far as I can up the right stairs. Okay. Potent 
And immediately gets killed. Didn't get very far. Right, before well, it we looked load. like it. Yeah, it looked like it moved her. So cold I'm not here. even seeing damage pop up on the menu or no, on the combat just, log. It's just instant death. Right, reload again. Uh, well, before, no, oh, I was going to say before we reload, I was wanting to try stepping on the uh, grates and see if that does anything. Oh, hang on. There's a skeleton I haven't looted over here. Oh, well, that was useful. Absolutely nothing. It does look like there's some sort of delay, so I'm going to try stepping on the uh, grate. Okay. I doubt this is going to work, but... Wow. What? I mean... Oh. Died, died before I even had a chance to do anything. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. About to say Oracle Tom. Wait, I still see Bear alive. I, I guess think when the main count. characters are dead, it, it counts as you losing. Okay, so, uh, uh, resync. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay, well, I just ran the combat log. Uh. Uh, followed a trail of blood. We, uh, found the air vent to the knight's tomb, whatever, or whatever's, uh, uh, dropped through the bit is losing a lot of blood uh, at the time uh, we were challenged by an ancient guardian this tomb seems like a dangerous place we'd better watch our step so is it just the uh, the stones well no because we've been zapped when we were stationary right uh have we been i thought we were always running and then we got zapped I'm pretty sure we've been zapped while stationary. Oh, I guess one way to test it is to go up here and stand. I'm looking for anything different or distinguishable by on the ground to indicate like a path of some sort. Maybe the bones? No, I tried that. I tried running over the bones. I'm freezing here. I got zapped literally on top of one of the bones. No, well, I mean stay away from the bones. Oh, yeah. Try that. Yeah, I'm just seeing if it says. Okay, well, I just realized something that we've been uh, seeing the hot and cold pop up. Yeah. Do you think that's our indicator? Maybe. Maybe if you're too hot or cold, like that's where you're going to get zapped. I thought that was just standing next to the vents. No, because I'm over here and I'm chilled. Oh, shit. I wonder if it's... Is it literally playing high and cold? Yeah. Yeah. Medora was uh, uh, cold and she got zapped. Oh, no. Now, there's a del... Oh, for fuck's sake. There's a delay. That is just bad design. So oh, that's sick, teeny tiny baby steps. I think so. Bitter chill. Potent heat. So pretty much where Medora is is a zap. Oh, oh. No, that's bad. I just got warm. Toasty. Oh, this is so stupid. It's heating up. I am on the track, yeah. Source Hunter. No, I want to talk to you, Bear. Pop Playing hot and cold here. Okay. That's warm. Right, so that's just. Mine keeps slashing chilled and warm. Fresh apple pie. 
I think that's it. I don't think we could get up the stairs yet. I don't like this design. Oh, I could do with a cold drink. I don't like this either. It's creative. I'll give him that. It's creative, but it doesn't make good use of the of the game engine. Yeah. There goes Bear. I'm basically trying to. Oh. Okay, I got just I just got zapped while I was cold. Yeah. You were right next to that body, though. That well, I was skeleton. trying to get away from it. Right. Oh. Okay, God, just to double check, I think we're right, but now that we've kind of got an idea. Yeah. What's this quest called again? War of the Stones. King's Tomb. Oh, King's Tomb. Well, let's put it this way. I start typing in and I get lightning. <laughs> King's Tomb lightning, yeah. The old parchment found inside the King's Tomb. I haven't even found the King's Tomb yet. Are we in Knight's Tomb? War of the Stones. You're challenged by the ancient guard. Yeah. Okay, War of the Stones. Yeah, I think we're in Knight's Tomb. Not King's Tomb. This is fun. So you can actually bypass that combat encounter. If you have something called the Titan's Dictionary. Which probably means we're on the wrong path. Be careful in the next room, since moving in the wrong area will instantly kill you. There are three ways to navigate the safe path. Play the warm cold game by following the warm direction. With 11 we have to follow the warm? Yeah. With 11 perception, you can see the footprints and follow their path exactly. For the very high telepathy, send the pyramid up the stairs and teleport the group. That telepathy is not that high. Open the map, zoom all the way in, and you can see the orc footprint path you need to follow. So, follow the warm? Yeah, I was expecting cold, yeah, because we were getting zapped. Yeah. And let's see, my perception's nine, and Medora's is five. What's uh, Bear's? Oh, this is nine. I, I don't like this design. And Bear's it's is nine. How many gear that boosts perception? That's what I was thinking. Oh, I have all not. I have enough to get to 11. Okay. I don't, so that's good. I have a, I have a potion. Oh, yeah. That potion works. Oh. I... Go ahead and, uh, well, uh, do a quick save. Well, 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 never mind. We're on a save. I was going to say, we just reloaded our save after we Sorry, I'm all sorry. died. Okay, so... Oh, I should probably take it down here. I have four of them. So. Uh, I don't see. I something. Oh, okay. Uh, do they spot come yeah, up they for you? Something. Yeah, they show up for me too. Oh, the I never mind it. Wore off. Uh, let's see. But the fact that uh, we had it backwards—I mean, that's irritating. Yeah. 
I spotted something. Well, what's this I've spotted? I've spotted something interesting. I assume this takes you to where you can disable. It didn't actually say in the walkthrough that I was looking at anyways. It just said follow the footprints. Okay, well. Okay, now that we're over here, safe. Uh, and can you resync health? Uh, yeah. Chilled to my bones. Oh, I'm showing warm, so. Hopefully, this doesn't kill us instantly. Just irritating as hell. Oh, there's our immaculate corpse. Oh, that's a fair amount of XP. Hang on, before we I'll loot, I'm going to drink. I am on the trail, so yeah, so we're at one to him. Or, you know, Sweet a dozen. Relief. Uh, a brick on a horn. horn. Jarl was right. The orcs were involved in Garrick's disappearance. His murder, you mean? Which means the bloodstones were likely stolen at Grutilda's behest. Uh oh. Fight, and I have fight, a fight. and I have a letter. Uh, you find an unsent letter. It's addressed to someone named Julia, who is assigned, and assigned Garrick. The letter details plans to meet during the full moon alongside a river bank, the name of which is unknown to you. It seems to be written by someone very much in the throes of a fledging love. Oh, boy. Oh, isn't that disgusting? There's not an imp in sight. Oh. Patience. One could turn up at any moment. Perhaps they're even listening as we speak. They may be clever, but they aren't well. invisible. Uh, well, I think we kind of uh, solved the imp problem <laughs> a while ago, didn't we? Yes, we did. I'm going to do a quick save. Okay. And then, yeah, just see what happens. Sup. Easy, sister, easy. We wouldn't want to scare off a possible ally. Or murderer. What? Uh, why are you thinking imps? We of the Watch share little with those ruddy chattel, but we do serve a common master. The demons of the realm of Nemesis. We've been tasked with returning the savage renegades to their home plane. Savage renegades? Why do you refer ah, to the imps as such? I, I so remember we, this. So we could have gotten rid of the bastards? No, rem I remember this. There's this... Find this quest where that you can choose to give them to these people, but the quest is bugged. And no matter what you do, you can't actually complete the quest. Oh. Well, so, uh, to, well, to be fair, we can't re complete the quest anyway. Yeah. Savage Renegades? I know not what guise of innocence they have undertaken here, but in our home realm, theirs is a sinister past. Eons ago, the Red Imps were a free race. Clever, yes, but blinded by their thirst for knowledge. Easier prey our demon masters could not have crafted. Well... You're, you're following demons. It doesn't seem like you're the paragon of the light here, you know? And no, so definitely not. And so the imps were offered a deal. Knowledge for service. The demons would offer the imps unlimited knowledge of the universe. In an itty bitty of the space. the imps would work off this debt by the sweat of their brows. The imps, salivating at such an idea as absolute knowledge, agreed without a second thought and each signed his name into a great codex marking his commitment. Yeah, about that. Knowledge they were granted, yes, but at a great cost. They could only use their newfound abilities in service of the demons of Nemesis. So the Ems dealt with demons. One might call them misguided, but hardly savage. 
I would also call him dead, but that's beside the point. No. Wait until you are all that stands between an imp and its freedom. See how quickly impish charm turns to barbarism. Yay, murder. I think we already did that. We, the Watch, were made the overseers of the demon's impish slaves. We were kinder than the demons indeed, but suffered from the same servitude as those over whom we were given dominion. Whatever commands the demons issued, we had no choice but to enforce. Were there any sexy commands? <laughs> After a great many centuries, the imps crafted a plan. They would steal the codex by which they had signed over their lives and flee Nemesis forever. But to get to the codex, they had to go through us. So two of them uh, knelt behind your knees and the other one pushed you, right? The imps were merciless. Countless innocents among the watch were beaten bloodied, ripped apart limb by limb as a savage red swarm ran through us. Still well, they didn't the seem that tough. They did, leaving the shredded innards nope. of those who opposed They were all killed way. almost immediately. <laughs> to be fair, we had good reason. They were annoying. They were very annoying. And a lot of XP. Actually, not that much XP, but they were XP. They were a good chunk. Uh, one could hardly blame the imps for wanting uh, uh, to escape enslavement. And what of us? We of the Watch who had failed in protecting the Codex were shown no mercy by our overlords. Half well, I don't show you any mercy for not moving your mouth when you're talking. Where they would suffer eternal torment. Is it uh, it... Okay, now the question is, does he have his hand shoved up her ass or hers up his? <laughs> Why not both? The other half, well, we were given a task. Find the imps and all would be forgiven. Those cast into the dungeons would be released. Fail and we will be doomed to join them. Should I say, uh, yes, I know where to find them? <laughs> yeah, might as well see what happens. Can it be? After these long centuries of searching, can it be? Okay, so. Well, we just saved, so. Uh, you can find the imps at the end of time. We have no idea of their dark past. The imps uh, must pay for what they've done, or damn the watch will not give them uh, the imps over to them and get more experience. <laughs> um. I, well, to be fair, they can find the bodies. <laughs> So I'm not lying. I would tell him about the end of time and just see what happens. You'll find the imps at the end of time. We had no idea of their dark past. The imps must pay for what they've done. <laughs> You'll see our little friends. <laughs> Indeed. Let those murderers face their fates. The end of time. How very far those tiny fiends have flown. We'll run there straight away. Thank you, kind stranger. Uh, question. How do they get there? <laughs> uh, that's what I was about to ask. What, are they just going to wait? Far be it from the watch to receive without giving. Take this stone. It is a relic of our forebears and will bolster you on your journey. Wait, did we get a bloodstone? I'm not seeing it in my inventory, so I think that's our bug. I don't have anything new in my inventory either. Yeah, I think that's the bug. So, reload, and we'll just murder them. Sure. I'm all about the, the plan of murder. I like this plan. And it shouldn't be that long of a fight, most likely. So we can do that and then wrap things up. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, crap. You'll find the imps oh, in the pages I, I, of size seal. I, I Damn, was clicking through too quickly. Over to them. Uh, Wait, the, the, the beaches? That's right. Let them waste another century on a wild goose chase. 
That's right. Let them renegade. So we get nothing? Seems that way. Oh, Reload well, again and just straight up attack them. That, that's what I was about to do. Or about to suggest. Um, but I, I, I think uh, opening move should be Medora. Just beam the ever-living shit out of them. Uh, recent health, please. Oh, okay. Here. Because they don't attack... Or they don't initiate a talk. So... And they don't have that much health. So. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh. Uh, I'm being the ever living shit out of you. Hey, stop that. We'll have none of that. You hear? <laughs> the hey, burning. Uh, stop that. Oh, finally. Well, they started at under half health, uh, roughly together, you know. There you go. Immune to burning. Well, I'm going to go after uh, the dude. And uh, I should be able to do uh, arrow spray and finish this uh, gal off. If you don't kill her. All right, well. <laughs> I can't uh, take it anymore. Uh, rain, please. Yeah, I was working on it. Uh, no Looks like we don't get the bloodstone no matter what then. Yeah, Assuming that. Everybody. That's irritating. So, shall we crack this open and uh, be done? Indeed. Do you want to crack the tube open or do you want me to? Well, I'm uh, drinking first. Oh. Well, that was a thing. Oh, inert stone, so. Uh, that was a bloodstone. I guess yeah. that was the bloodstone. Which means we have a new thing at the end of time. Yep. Where's the thing to deactivate the walkie trap? I don't know. Well, uh, well, uh, well after you draw hump the tomb, well, uh, we'll search the oracle for that after the fact because it's time to wrap things up pretty much. Indeed. It's been a while since I've done the spiel. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do it correctly. If you want to find me on the YouTubes and, and you're not watching this on my channel already, you can do so by searching for Gaming Psychologist. If you want to follow me on Twitter where I say all kinds of things about all kinds of things, you can do so at JMA4707. And if you want to watch me stream games on Twitch, you can do so over at twitch.tv slash JR34707. I also do the Video Game Logic podcast with this lovely fellow right here with the deep voice. And if you want to listen to that, vgopodcast.podbean.com. What about you, buddy? Where can they find you? Oh, uh, well, if you're not watching this on my channel already, you can find me over at Gaming with Caffeine Rage, where, in theory, I have uh, three series going on, plus the Sunday Sampler, but, uh, you know, trying to get things going, and it's interesting times. Uh, but if you wish to see me tweet about somewhat interesting things, you can also find me over on Twitter, Gaming with CR, and you already covered the podcast, so no reason to cover it again. 
BTR Podcast. Indeed. Alrighty. I guess that means it's time for me to say goodbye now. Uh, now to find out how to deactivate this fucking trap. Indeed. How about we just throw a bear at it? I don't know if that'll work, but we can always try. Well, she'll be in for a shock. Good up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you think about subscribing to my channel or hitting that like button up there? I'd really appreciate it. If for some reason you didn't like it, feel free to exercise your right to hit the dislike button. Regardless of whether you liked it or not, I'd love to have some comments down in the comment section below. We can talk about whatever it was you liked or didn't like. If you want to find me in other places and support me in other ways, you can do so by following the link in the description to my Patreon. You can also follow the link to my Twitter page, or just go to Twitter and follow me at JMA4707. If you want to watch me stream games on Twitch, you can do so over at twitch.tv slash jr4707, and the link to that is also in the description below the video. If you want to hear me ramble on about video games for hours at a time with my partner in crime, Caffeine Rage, you can do so by following the link to our podcast, bglpodcast.podbean.com. Until next time, bye bye now.